portion of the program where we give the stage over to our friends at the Guam Crime Stoppers program who are taking their time to make sure that you and all of your fellow Guamanians have a safe existence and we all are safe here on the island. All right, in light of the recent incident at Emi Luhan Elementary School in down in Jonia where a teacher was unfortunately sprayed with pepper spray and then mugged, Officer Paptapal is here. He's the, of course, Guam, Guam Crime Stoppers coordinator and our good friend Denise Herslett. You are the founder of Random Women's Rally Organization. I need to look down on the paper because it's such a long title, but very, very worthwhile on our island. So, hafa day to you both. Thanks for joining me. Hafa day, Jace. Thank you for having us. Okay. So, Denise, uh, get us up to speed on what, with your organization because you guys are really starting to ramp up the activities and word's really starting to get around about you guys. Yes. Uh, well, actually, the name Random Women's Rally, uh, we have a shorter uh, acronym for it. It's ROAR. So, it's real easy to remember. And so, uh, what we are is really just a community-based movement of women that got together and wanted to uh, have a call to action to help our women and girls and our families in the community. And our biggest issue is to find a way to help uh, curb the violence uh, that we have in our community. Mm -hmm. Now, Officer Tapal, you know, like, from a news perspective, we've actually noticed an uptake in crimes against women, but uh, from a law enforcement standpoint, uh, why do you guys think that is? And is it just a time of year or? It, it's, it's pretty much opportunity. Um, criminals act uh, based on opportunity that presents itself. And as a criminal, they're acting like predators. So they see and they target easy praise. I'm not saying, you know, it, it, it's unfortunate it happens that way, but um, they want to go in, do their, do their task and get out with less distraction. And they feel that, I mean, the, they're actually taking the time to scope it out, scope out the victims and not randomly select, but isolate which one is an easy prey. Mm. And the quicker they're in, the quicker they're out, it's a success to them. And that's why we stress, that don't make yourself a target. Break away from the distraction of focus on what it, what's going on around you. Mm. And what would some of the telltale signs of being and, you know, a quote unquote easy target be? I'm easily distracted constantly in the cell. I mean, if you're walking through your parking lot, and I stress this because I have a daughter and I have a wife, and I tell them, when you're walking from the, from the shopping mall or from anywhere into a car, look around, find out what's going on, get off the phone. And people see that, people take note of that. You're easily distracted, you're not focusing on what's going on around you. And we wanna bring that to light, is that the more you pay attention, the more you're aware, the less of a target you become. And that's, 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 that's the easiest way where we can prevent it from happening to you. All right. Now, Denise, and of course, these problems, you know, aren't just isolated towards one particular uh, ethnic group. I mean, you're seeing it happen to local women and, you know, women that live here and, and tourists alike. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what, uh, what did your organization, how do you guys network and, you know, build strength within, within the community and everything and hopefully try to advocate for their safety? Well, initially what we did was we uh, did the old-fashioned way. We called each other. We emailed. We went to the women organizations that we knew uh, were just as alert and just as um, concerned as we were. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we created a Facebook page, uh, which is called Random Women's Rally, really easy to find. And that was another way for us to be able to communicate with the other folks out there that didn't necessarily want to be in front of everything, but wanted to be alert and know what was going on. So we always post uh, a lot of the um, announcements that come from KOM and other uh, media sources and NGPD uh, to let them know, okay, this is what happened, you know, prepare yourself. Uh, when there's a class that's coming up for self-defense, we post that as well so everybody knows that something is available for them. Mm. Uh, but he's correct. Uh, we do need to be more alert of what's going on around us and we talk a lot about that. We talk about where to get things like pepper spray if, we, if you need to, um, what to wear, how to go jogging together, um, what to do when you're in a parking lot or how, where to park, yes. um, how to hold the keys in your hand. Something as simple as that very small task uh, can really make a difference for these ladies and, and their children. Mm -hmm. Okay, now Paul, what, what are some of the products that, w that women or anybody for that matter can you know, carry around? Because Denise just m mentioned uh, pepper spray. Where can these products be found so they can be purchased legally? And um, you know, what should people be carrying? Because you, know, you can bet people are gonna pour Tabasco into like a little spritzer mm -hmm. bottle and perhaps yeah. carry that if that does the job. Well, we, we wanna stress safety. Um, if you're gonna lead towards that as, as a mean of self-defense, we wanna emphasize that you're properly trained mm -hmm in, in um, the items that you're gonna use for your self-defense mechanism, um, particularly pepper spray, because one, you don't want it to be used against you. Feel free to give us a call at the Guam Police Department, our training and staff, we have certified pepper spray instructors that can give the instruction. We can make arrangements, you know, we can talk and discuss how we can make arrangements where we can certify and train uh, individuals who like to be certified in the use 
the proper use of pepper spray because it really, I mean, I got certified in pepper spray and I hated it because I knew <laughs> it was going to be, it's going to be painful, but it showed us, it showed us the light of how effective and efficient it is in, in a form of self-defense. To know how it works, you yes. have to know how it feels. Yes, you have to know how exactly. <laughs> so we were victims of that. I mean, Denise hit it in the head and I can't stress how instrumental RAW is because we work together with our victims advocates. We reach out together as an outreach community outreach and she stressed the how you hold your keys. I mean, that's proper awareness. That's you not being a victim. When you hold your keys in a certain manner, you know that you're mm -hmm. ready for a strike. And we emphasize that you strike and you engage for distraction, not to engage to, to for for the fight. You engage to distract and flee uh, flee to safety, and that's how we emphasize. And we should mention that you hold it in a certain way. We already know that they're training properly holding the keys where it become it becomes a mechanism of a self defense. So all right, okay. Well, Den Denise, we do have a training session uh, coming up that we want to talk about. But uh, Paul, there is a crime of the week that we want to introduce. So what yes. do you got? Uh, this crime of the week is a robbery that occurred in the Lower Barragata Heights area. It was on Saturday, August 31st, just after 3 o'clock in the morning, when officers from the Tumont Winning Precinct Command received a report of an armed robbery at the Funland Game Room 3 located along Route 16 in Lower Barragata Heights. According to the police report, an unknown male walked into the game room with a black semi-automatic handgun. He rushed towards the cashier's area, pointed the gun at the attendant and demanded cash. The cashier fearful for his safety, immediately complied and emptied the register and placed the money in a white grocery bag. The suspect grabbed the bag and ran out of the game room. The suspect is only described as possibly local and appeared to be in his late 20s. He stands about 5 foot 8 inches tall and weighs between 190 to 200 pounds. The suspect was last seen wearing blue baggy jeans and black long sleeve shirt. The suspect's face was also covered with a blue bandana and dark sunglasses. The Guam Police Department's Criminal Investigation Division and the Guam Crime Stoppers need your help relative to this armed robbery complaint. If you have any information about this case, please call the Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP or text 688-STOP. You can also visit our webpage at www.guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. All right, Officer Tapao, as always, thank you for the information. And certainly, uh, mm -hmm. people out there, if you have any information about this crime, once again, you can contact the folks at GPD or Guam Crime Stoppers. Now, Denise, uh, you were talking about training sessions, perhaps, for self-defense. There's something coming up on that regard that uh, everybody's going to want to know about. Yes, I want to help our friends uh, that are putting this together. It's called the Violence Against Women and Children. It is a class that's being held at the Dededo um, Community, uh, senior, citizen, yes. senior Citizen Center at Estumbo. Estumbo, yes. And uh, I, we want to thank the Rotary Club that's uh, putting this together, as well as Juanita Bloss from Island Girl mm -hmm. Power that's been trying to push this because th it's free class. It's happening Saturday at 3 o'clock p.m. So you can contact the Dedito Mayor's Office at 632-5203 or just get over there to the um, Senior Citizen Center at Estumbo. And this is a course that's centered in the Aikido martial art, as I understand, with, with, the, with the intent to help you stay safe mm -hmm. in the event that you're ever put in a in that situation. unfortunate situation right. you're not going to be necessarily certified as a black belt in you know in aikido Ex but it's exactly. very specifically towards this kind of situation that's correct and apparently their instructor who has many many years of this uh, of this type of instruction uh, chief instructor um, matsuko minagishi from the Aik guam aikido association she will be is teaching. for real <laughs> i've seen her work she is for real and, and it's free and uh, if I may, I mean, for, for, for those viewing right now, take advantage of it. As, as uh, Denise had mentioned, it's free. And your instructor, you're getting your bank for your buck. It's for free. You're not going to find a better instructor to instruct this course. She is for real. She is legit. And she is awesome. I mean, it's amazing to watch her. Guys my size brought down to my knees just by her. <laughs> She's awesome. She's incredible. Now, see that people in Guam, that is why having Officer Paul Tapao as your GPD <laughs> spokesperson for Guam Crime Stoppers is so good because he takes pepper spray and he takes a fall so that you can stay safe That's and you can right. be more well yeah. informed. <laughs> Th thank you guys. for taking a tumble for, uh, for all of us Guamanians. Yeah, thank you guys. And thank you again, Ms. Denise, for coming out and sharing the information that Raw has for our community and making it 
making everybody understand where they can reach to an, an outreach program for them. All right, and Denise, you know you're welcome back anytime. Officer Tapa, we'll see you next week. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. And stay tuned because we'll be back after this. Stay safe, Claude.